welcome back to my YouTube channel and welcome to a full face first impressions, which is not a full face first impressions. It's like almost a full face first impressions. Almost, I tried a couple of these products yesterday because I'm impatient, but a lot of them it is my first time trying. So we're playing with things like the new-ish Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin Foundation, the Jouer Concealer, which has just launched um, a new shade of Ofra highlight in the new packaging as well. How exciting is that? Um, I really like that packaging actually. Um, a new blush, very inexpensive, new powder, new bronzer, new primer, things like that. We've got a lot of things to try so I'm going to put them all on my face. This is the look we came up with and yeah, things went up, they went down, they went <laughs> everywhere but I think in the end, pretty good. Before you start watching, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I never, ever, ever remember to ask people to subscribe. Please subscribe and like this video if you do enjoy it. I would love to have you back. I wanna hit 20K. It's achievable, let's do it by 2019. Yes. Also, if you're wondering what's on my eyes, because we're not doing that in this video, I am testing and doing my review on the Gingerbread Palette by Too Faced. Um, that will be my last video that was up, so go back and check that out. I'll link it down below as well. Anyway, without any further ado, let's jump into a full face almost of almost first impressions. Okay, so we're gonna jump right in with the primer, which I know baffling. So this is the Hylomide HA Blur Hyaluronic Base Prismatic Blurring Surface Finisher. HA Blur. Um, this was £10 on Beauty Bay. Um, directions apply over or mix with liquid foundation can be worn alone without makeup. Any powder makeup product should be used after the application of HA Blur. Um, I just saw the claims of this. It's just like a, feels like a kind of gel. Just feels like a moisturizer. Um, I just saw the claims of this on the Beauty Bay website and I was like, wow. If that actually does what it says it does, then I'm gonna be impressed. And yeah, like I said, used it yesterday, was very impressed. Once you kind of put it on your skin, it doesn't really distribute that far. So it does kind of like thicken as you apply it. But my goodness, do my pores look reduced. Like my just skin just looks overall much like um, smoother. So I kind of focus it over my nose and then here and here, that's where I get the worst pores. You don't want to put on too much because I do find if you put on quite a lot, it like pills up a little bit. So just try and put on a really thin amount and then I put just a touch on my forehead where I've got my nice big wrinkles. But anyway, now I've used this once, I already know I like it. but. It'll be interesting to test it today with a foundation I've not used before and see if it sits on top of that nicely. So the foundation is the Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Skin. I'm not going to read the claims of this because I want to know if I agree with them once I've tried it. This is Matte Velvet Skin 24 Hour Full Coverage Foundation. Um, yeah, I'm not going to read any more about it. I got the shade Y225. Don't know if it's going to match me. Looks a bit dark. Everyone seems to really like when I wear foundations that are darker than what I usually wear, so yeah, we're just gonna squeeze a bit out on my finger. It's quite thick. Yeah, that is really dark. Oh no. I'm probably gonna have to mix this with like my whitening drops or use a really light concealer. <laughs> I'm gonna start with that much and actually I'm really enjoying using my Real Techniques 200 the expert foundation brush for a foundation the past few days so I'm gonna start patting this in I don't tend to like drag it around my skin when I use a brush I tend to kind of just do patting motions this is real dark <laughs> Do I carry on? <laughs> this looks nuts. Really thick, like it's blending out nicely, but it's like, 
it doesn't go very far. That could be the primer underneath it as well. This has made me look like a yellow alien. Don't know how it's coming across on camera. Yeah, it doesn't really spread that far. I mean, that amount did spread over like my entire face, but um, I feel like the outskirts of my face where I didn't like put it on don't look very well covered. I'm gonna put some more in the back of my hand. So we are going in with two layers, but I just wanna try and make this color match me. And my gosh, whitening drops. Fairly big squeeze in there. This finish doesn't go very far. It's so thick. That's not gonna be enough to cover my entire face. Let's see, it looks a bit lighter though. So that's good. <sighs> I hate when things don't work first time, honestly. It's just so hard matching yourself online sometimes. I'm just really buffing now, I'm not patting because I'm annoyed. Um, it can be so hard matching yourself online and the Debenhams where you can get Makeup Forever in Edinburgh, it's just online, like you don't have it in store. I don't think this has lightened it at all. Yeah, I would really have to fake tan to use this shade and I don't like fake tanning. If I can avoid it, just drag it down the neck. My pores though, let's look at them up close. I mean my pores look good, they don't look bad. But I feel like yesterday when I used a foundation I really loved with this primer. What foundation did I use? Yeah, the Maybelline Superstay my skin looked better. Right, well that wasn't a great success. I'm gonna carry on and just hope that when I put like a lighter concealer on and stuff, things look better. So for concealer, I picked up the Jouer Essential High Coverage Liquid Concealer, which is in this pretty box. And what I like is that it seems really big. So I got the shade, sorry, the shade Creme, which, doesn't look that light, but we'll see. Okay, this might rescue the face because it is actually fairly light. Let's start with that amount. This is supposed to be pretty full coverage by all accounts, so. It's gonna buff this out, kind of patting it because I want to keep the coverage under my eyes as much as possible. It's a nice concealer. This was £16, so it is expensive, obviously, but it's not like um, mega, mega, mega expensive. My Urban Decay one's 20 or £21. I'm not saying that this is going to replace that quite yet. But it's nice, blending very easily, even over this extremely matte base. Like, I won't need to set this base. I'm gonna put it in a few other areas because I do want to kind of lighten this foundation up a bit. With the addition of that concealer though, my skin looks nice, like my skin. Ignore the colour. Like, my skin looks good. That concealer's really nice, actually. But it's got rid of a lot of the darkness underneath my eyes. Yeah, I like that. I think I actually need a lighter colour. I didn't want to go for the very, very lightest because it looked so pale. But that is actually a pretty decent colour for me. And I feel like it's added a lot of coverage on my face as well. So I put a bit over those blemishes and then a bit here. So I feel like my foundation didn't stretch that far. Might as well just use this blooming concealer as a foundation today. Yeah, I actually really do like how my base looks so far. So it's kind of a no to the foundation in terms of shade, but actually the way it looks on my skin I think is really nice. And that concealer is lovely, actually. So far, I would recommend. And it is 
I am sitting in my fine lines underneath my eyes and my creases. Show me a concealer that doesn't do that and I'll eat my hat. But no, that's really nice. What does that claim to be? Offers full coverage with hyaluronic acid and Reservatrol to achieve a creaseless soft matte finish while correcting and smoothing skin imperfections. I mean it is smoothing but that could be the primer because my pores are looking real good. Um, yeah, it's nice. So far, nice. Sorry if you can hear Hamish in the shower. Alright, let's move on to powder. I picked up a new one, the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. This was £10, it's just a mini one. Um, I love minis, I think they're so good. It's a loose powder and it's got a nice cap that when you lift it, it's got the powder in there so it's not that messy. I'm dipping in, I'm using my Luxie 522 tapered brush. And I'll pat that on underneath the old peepers. I will get creasy under eyes no matter what. So powder does really, really help. I was just kind of, I've always had like quite deep set lines underneath my eyes. That doesn't bother me. No, I do need to set the rest of my face. Now that I've put that concealer on, I feel like the rest of my face does need to set quite a lot. I feel like that is kind of lightening my under eyes. This is in shade light. They only have two shades from what I can see, like light and medium or light and dark. I do feel like that's kind of lightened my under eye, but I think that's quite good. I'm gonna use this giant BH Cosmetics brush and just use this over the rest of my face because I don't have a new press powder. Well, I do, but it's got a lot of coverage. I really want to add coverage. I feel like I've got a lot of coverage right now. I'm just gonna use this to set the rest of my face. Minis, honestly, more companies need to do minis, like give us mini concealers, mini foundations, things like that, especially like expensive ones. I know we can go into store and get samples, but not all of us like doing that. I think it's great that you can buy minis online. I really like that powder. It's not cakey. My face doesn't look really powdery. I feel, yeah, I feel really nice and set. Yeah, that's nice. That's nice. After all of that, I do like how my skin looks like a lot. Like I really like how my base looks. I think it looks really flawless. Just wish I had the right shade in that foundation. I don't have any contour products. I'm quickly gonna contour and then we'll be back to the rest of the stuff I do have new products for. So give me one minute. So I quickly threw on my contour and then we're gonna bronze. I got a new one. <laughs> I've been like, buy, buying, I've been buying way too many bronzers recently, but I wanted it. BH Cosmetics Brilliant Bronzer. Satin finish bronzer in golden gal. Oh baby, even love the packaging. How good is that? It's really light, but I'm hoping it will work on my very dark skin right now. Actually quite a lot of kick up in the pan. I'm actually using a BH brush. This is the V3. Oh that, no, that's got pigment. I dipped in quite a lot thinking it looked really light, but actually, I mean, this is a train wreck anyway, isn't it? Who cares? Okay, that is pigmented and patchy. No, what is that? See this line? Oh gosh. Right, I'm gonna dip in much lighter on this side because that other side got a bit patchy. I don't know if you can see in the pan. There is quite a lot of like powder kick up. I use this brush all the time now for bronzer, so I don't think it's the brush. I don't really see how the bronzer could be at fault. 
I mean, have you ever used a bronzer that's like really bad? Because I haven't. Um, I think I just dipped in way too much on that side because like, it looks quite sheer. So I'm just going to go with my powder brush. Try and salvage this. It's kind of working, although this temple's like way darker than this one now. <laughs> So badly. I feel like it looks a little less patchy now. I put on a bit of face powder on top. I really like the colour, though it is quite deceiving in the pan. Like it does look quite light, but actually it's it packs a lot of punch. This was I think about seven pounds, and if I forgot to say, the foundation was thirty one pounds, which is why when I get the wrong shade in it, I'm quite peeved because it's expensive. Okay, well it said it was gonna, you know, it said, it did what it said it was gonna do, it bronzed me. But yeah, I'm not convinced that it looks the best on me, best base. I don't know, I don't know if I've ever had like proper fail of a first impression. Let's move on to highlight. This won't fail us. Like I'm, I know it won't because it's just so good. I got um, Ofra Highlighter in Glazed Donut. Now, call me stupid, I didn't realise this was a Nikki Tutorials collab. I wanted one that was slightly darker than Pillow Talk, which I love and use all the time, but this is actually maybe just as light, but more golden toned than pink. So, let's put it on. I mean, it's obviously not a disappointment, is it? It's blinding, but it's so light. Maybe on days when I use foundation that actually matches me, this would look okay. Yeah, I don't know what shade I need. Tell me down below. Darker than this, but not too dark. Like, you know how pale I am. I mean, it's really pretty, it's really blinding, but it's so light. You can see it when I look straight on. But we're gonna soldier on with it because it's my only new highlight. I definitely like it down the center of my face. But maybe just right now on the cheekbones it's too light. I like putting highlighter on my chin. Not with this tiny brush though. But I like it, it's just not the right shade for me today. That's just gonna get dry by the way, so if I used that wet it would be like sick. But I don't think with this colour of base on, we can go wet with this. Anyway, let's put some blush on. I have the new, well a new one, sorry, Jordana, made in the USA. This is in shade Touch of Pink, which is weird to me because this is definitely peach, but okay. This was only four pounds on Beauty Bay, so nice and cheap. I've actually never tried a Jordana blush before, but I always feel like you can't really go wrong with blush. Like what can they do so bad with a formula, apart from it like not having any color? Let's rename it Touch of Peach. I actually like quite a lot of blush. I feel like it keeps my skin looking quite awake and always disappears quite quickly as well. It might look like a bit too much, but don't you worry. Back in with the powder brush. Can you believe I did winged liner today? I never do winged liner. I need to change this highlight. I, don't, I know I can't change it, but I need to put a deeper highlight on top. 
love the highlight, you know I love the over formula. Like that's just as blinding and as beautiful as Pillow Talk. But it's too bright, it's too white for this look. I'm just gonna pick up a bit of my um, ABH Amorezzi highlighter. Yeah, I feel better about that um, highlight now. I'm just gonna pop on a touch more blush. Just spot everywhere. I think I'm making this like this successful. It's just taking a long time and quite a lot of steps. But actually, I mean, I'm looking at myself and I'm like, you know, my skin looks good. Like, I need to go out after this and buy a new memory foam pillow for my back and. Like, I'm not going to be worried about it. All I'm going to think is, oh god, an awful lot of makeup on. <laughs> what I'm going to do is quickly jump off camera. I'm going to finish off my eyes because I'm doing that in a separate video, like I said. And then we'll come back and finish off with lips. I think we're finished off with the new products. We'll see. So I'll be back in a second with my eyes finished and then we'll be wrapping this up. So to finish off the look, I got a couple new lip products. This is the... Revolution Renaissance Lip Liner. This is in the shade Vow. Got this on Beauty Bay because I've launched uh, Makeup Revolution. I don't know how I feel about it. Like I feel like Beauty Bay is more expensive makeup slash makeup that's hard to get in the UK. So I don't really understand why they're now selling Makeup Revolution. But it's good because they offer next day delivery. So I'm happy that they are doing it. Anyway, this is like a looks like a deep brown lip liner. And the tip fell off. Yeah, that's nice, super creamy, super pigmented. And then for lips, I've got this um, Milani lipstick. This was six pounds and this is in the shade 60 Matte Innocence. Very creamy formula. I'm sure I have another Milani lipstick, but I've never used it. Really like the formula, don't like the colour. Not with this eye, I need either like a really plain nude or a pink, I feel. So I'm not a huge fan of the colour, but it's a nice formula. So I'm quickly just going to throw on another lip and then I'll be back and round up my thoughts on all the new products that we tried. Yeah, I mean it's fine. Just threw on a bit of Maybelline 981 on the top. Just to lighten it up a bit. So this is my finished... Full face, almost of first impressions. Almost full face of almost first impressions. It's just a catchier title saying full face first impressions. Let's let's talk about the products that we tried. So lastly, I tried the lip products. Really like the lip liner. There's nothing wrong with it. It was two pounds fifty. I mean, it's hard to do a lip liner that wrong, but it's very creamy, really pigmented. I really like the formula of the Milani um, lipstick, but I just don't like the colour with this look. I'll definitely use that though because it is a nice, um, like, kind of peachy, pinky nude. Um, in terms of what else we got, so the foundation, um, too dark for me, way too dark for me. I like the formula. I'm not like enamoured with it. I wanted to try it after Mitchell was talking about it, but I mean. It, Overall, I think my base looks amazing. Like it, like it's, I don't feel like amazing, but like my base looks full coverage. It looks pretty flawless, quite matte. But I just wish I had it in the right shade, and then I think I would really like it. It's quite thick, doesn't spread that far, but it's got a nice solid medium coverage, which is what I kind of look for day to day. I don't need like full coverage, but you know, day to day medium's good. So I think I'll probably just buy another shade, a lighter shade, and see what I think of it then, and maybe keep this for, if I fake tan, I could use it, for sure. I might even fake tan tonight for my friend's wedding tomorrow and use that, I'm not sure. We'll see. I'm quite dangerous, I don't mind, like, trying new products for, like, important events. 
Concealer, really, really like this. 16 pounds, so not really cheap, but considering I go on and on about how much I love my Urban Decay All Nighter, this is actually cheaper. I need to keep testing it, but so far I really like it. It didn't crease more than any other concealer did. Really nice full coverage. Blended very easily and I think really kind of saved my base from being too dark. Like I said, I got the shade Creme and a really nice size. I feel like for the price you're getting a good amount of product and it's not like a tiny amount of product for that price. What else did we try? Oh, I like the Cover FX setting powder. For sure would buy the full size when I run out of this. Just set my base really nicely. It was not cakey, it didn't make my face look powdery, I didn't feel the need to use like a facial spray. Really like that, so we'll try that for £10 for the mini, and there's heaps in there, I mean that will last for ages. Um, the blush, really nice blush, like I said, can't really go wrong, £4, would recommend, bit my tongue, would recommend the shade Touch of Pink. Um, what else? The primer, I really, really, really like this. Um, Underneath my Maybelline Superstay yesterday and like underneath full face of products that I love and use already I thought my skin looked Flawless like I immediately wrote about it on my Instagram. I was like holy mackerel My skin does look really good. My pores do look more refined today even with this new foundation on But yesterday it looked Incredible if you've got like open pores. I would really 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 recommend this don't think it helps much for like fine lines, but certainly pores, which is what it's for. So would highly recommend. People were messaging me and like DMing me saying that they use this on days when they're not wearing makeup and it just smooths out their skin as well. So that's good. Really like that. And um, what else? The Ofra highlight. I really like it. I just wish I got one in a deeper shade. But then again, this is like really deep foundation for me personally. Like look at the color of my chest and shoulders, like I am pale. So this would probably work when I've got like my regular foundation shade on, which is like MAC NC15 or the Conceal and Define one shade F3. Um, so I do really like it, it's really blinding, but for 25 pounds, I just wish I got a slightly deeper shade. But saying that, the formula is incredible, and if you like really blinding highlighters, Ofra is where to go. Oh, I didn't even try these out. I got the liquid catsuit in red, wouldn't go with this eye, and I got this LA Splash liquid glitter, but I didn't use that anyway. Um, last thing, I guess, was the bronzer, which I don't know. I don't know if it was my base or what was going on. It did like apply fairly patchy I felt like on this side not on this side yes so I'm not sure if maybe I didn't set the side of my face as well as this side or what was going on it did go on a touch patchy so I need to try that again um, on a day when I've not maybe used all of these products and test it out but for seven pounds like the packaging's really pretty and I genuinely generally like most bronzers I try so I'm gonna give it another go. So right now it's a hmm on that. Like I said, if you wanna see my first impression on the eyes, then watch my last video. But yeah, I'd say we took a bad situation at the very beginning and made it good. So I'm pretty happy with my makeup. I'm gonna go out and about now, get that pillow that I really need. And yeah, pretty happy. Let me know what you think of all the products. Have you tried them? Have I used anything wrong? What shade in that foundation do I need? bearing in mind how pale I am and yeah let me know what you think I'll link all of the products down below as I always do if you do purchase through my links it really helps me out I get commission which is awesome so yeah thanks for watching and I hope I will see you in my next video bye